Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this. Okay, so um, um, there, there are different ways of doing this. Um, so, uh, for example, you can model, uh, you can use the model in, in place, you can create an extrusion and then uh, array. Um, and also you can, you can maybe use a curtain wall. Um, and then you can also use um, pattern-based families. So uh, let me just um, do a screenshot. So I'll, I'll explain. So if if you if you need um, if you wanted to use curtain wall, so you because in curtain walls the pattern always uh, so it's always a rectangular uh, pattern, right? So like this. So for this, you might be able to. So we need to, to just, um, I think, something like this. You can model one curtain panel with this pattern, and then it will repeat. So you can create this uh, use um, a curtain curtain panel. Okay, so. Um, but still, it's it's not easy because you can see uh, this one, two, three part in that family, and then uh, if if you already know the the dimensions, uh, if if the dimensions fixed, it will be fun, it will be easy. But if uh, they are, if you want to make this parametric, it can be uh, a bit tricky. So so. Uh, uh, Let's. I'll show you uh, easier method, which is pattern-based family. So for pattern-based family, because we can. So I'll just do this. So this will be one of the pattern, and then we can just choose the. I can't remember the name, but one, like one and a half. Uh, I think something like that. So if you use this pattern, you can see it can be very simple. So basically, just one pattern, and then uh, can it will repeat. Okay. So let's um, start. So we're going to create a new family. So uh, we're going to use a generic model pattern based. And first, we need to select this grid and change it to the one ah uh, one one. Uh, half step <laughs> okay so half step so yeah so this is it and then we just need to so in we just need to so I'll, I'll just do one here so this is the pattern so what, six point right and then what we need to do is we just need to find a point here find a point here find a point here find a point here and we can connect all these points and then we can just do a sweep. Okay, so just do a sweep. Um, okay, so let's do it. So place a point, use draw on face, and then we're going to place onto this. Okay. Um, um, hang on, let me think. How are we going to control the size of this? Um, let me just have a look. So if we, we're going to make it parametric, uh, the vertical, the vertical is fine because we can use the grid to control the vertical, but just the the horizontal. Oh, I mean, yeah. So the horizontal uh, offset from this. Uh, yeah. So maybe we can just use a uh, segment length to control where. So the dimension, this dimension is what this dimension is. Okay. So draw on point. Draw on. Uh, face and place on here and select this point so we can see this uh, this means it measure from here okay so click on this so it measures from this point and then we can change this one to segment length so this means the distance from here to here is this and then we can just create a parameter so can uh, we can control um, what do we call it um, uh, uh, I'll call it X. No, 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 no. I don't like X. <laughs> Offset. Okay. So, and uh, type is fine. Okay. And okay. 
um, place another point you draw on face and the same so this one's measured from here so which is good and change this one to segment length and link that to the offset so let's just quickly place another two this one good this one flip and select both and change it to segment length and link link them to offset so now we can control so you can see we can control the four points uh, just use uh, using uh, that uh, offset parameter okay so now we can select two points create a spline through points make a reference line again select this point and this point spline through points and uh, make a reference line and then select these two make a reference line and select these two and make it a reference line so now we should be able to oh yeah some one of the lines not reference line yet okay so now you can see we can direct we can directly select these four okay so now i'm going to type hi just to isolate so there's only these four reference lines and then I'm going to place a um, place a, a point. So any oh, let me think. It should be fine. We we only need one. So just place on this any of these four uh, reference line. So and then on this one, so we can we can place a a, ref, a profile. So we're going to use a, a rectangle. Draw on word plan. Set word plan and pick on this point and then we're going to just draw i think i draw something like this um let me just have a look at this one so i think maybe just centered and also we need to decide uh that's fine we can we can create oh sorry go back we can just create some reference uh uh, no, create some parameters. So I'm going to select this one too, and so move this line down a little bit and then I'll just create this dimension. Okay, and then I'm going to just use edit with this line and pick this point. Okay, and it clicks anywhere here to create this and click on equal. Uh, that doesn't work. <laughs> That's fine. So maybe we can just dimension DI from here to this point and from here to this point and then we just need to select this dimension create a parameter so i just call it half uh, maybe half uh, so this will be the depth of this these break bricks or blocks uh, maybe i'll just use half depth okay so half depth and okay and then select this dimension and link this to half depth as well so the overall depth is uh, that's <laughs> that's one point two meter. That's too big. Uh, anyway, so that's fine. Uh, um, maybe we can just uh, change. So we can create a parameter. Let's call it the depth. And okay, and then half depth equals. So I'll just call, uh, change this one to um, the depth. Depth. I'll just make it um, depth. Make it maybe two hundred. Okay, so two hundred and the half depth equals steps divided by two so it will become 100 on each side and then uh, also we need this dimension okay so from here so this is the um, what do we call this thick maybe call it this uh, thickness okay so th I'll just create a parameter let's call it a th okay and then go to family types let's change this th to maybe um uh 50 for example yeah oh good that, that two thing uh, maybe, maybe 100 <laughs> okay so click ok and then um we just need to select this profile and together with so press ctrl and select this and then create a form so this is it so this is <laughs> uh, it, doesn't, doesn't look like the uh, the image this is because the scale of these um, grids so let's type HR so we can select this grid and change this one to smaller so maybe uh, um, let me think um, maybe 500 by 500 okay okay something's not oh, okay so this this is because because this uh, 
the offset of this point is quite big so you can see it's quite 600 and then when we change this grid to 500 by 500 so this won't work it will go outside of this uh, line so that's why it doesn't so it doesn't work so we can just change this one to a smaller uh, smaller number and then we can change the this to a smaller grid okay so now this is it um, so we can we can always change the size when we uh, load this one into a into a pattern a divide your surface pattern so now we can go to um, so we can create we can use conceptual mass or we can use model in place mass so this time uh, let's try a project uh, a model in place mass so for example i have a wall right so i'll just create a wall here and then another wall here i want to so maybe i'll change them to three meter high uh, sorry three meter high and then i want to add a wall in the middle using that uh, this pat pattern right so okay so how do we do it so we need a mass we need a mass so we can create a divider surface so let's just model in place and mass okay so we need uh, just a line so from the middle because we model when we model this one we use the center point we, we centered this brick uh, so um so in this pattern right so uh that's why we need to place a reference line we're going to use um let me think we can just draw on world plans fine because by default is the level the ground floor level that's fine so i just draw a line from this point and to this point okay so and then you can just direct on um, one line is enough so we can just create a form and select it and then we can just make it three meter high right and then we can select this surface and divide the surface and then we change this one to the pattern uh one a half step and then this is the size of those brick imagine the brick that it's quite big right so maybe you can use a maximum um maximum space maybe uh, i'll just change this one to 20 and 20. okay so if you want to you can you can uh, increase the number so maybe v grid or increase a little bit more uh, maybe 30 something like that okay so now we just need to load this one uh, into this project and then we can select it and now if i go to this drop down uh, menu so you, you sh see this one and then we if you uh, select that one it will where it will create uh, these uh, blocks oh. <laughs> looks like some some things not quite right i think it's probably the size the default size um uh maybe this one's too big and these these are too small so maybe uh let me just um how to fix this one uh i'm going to change this size to smaller so maybe a uh, thickness become a uh, 50. all right so uh this is half depth depth font i don't think depth will be an issue but um let's just make it 110 offset maybe 50 and okay so now uh, i'm going to load this one and then i'll choose because i think if i choose the first one it won't work because it won't will not overwrite those parameters and then i'll just overwrite those parameters so choose the second one i'll try again if yeah so it, so i can see it works this time um i think i think that's it yeah so um let me just change the shade and stay so you can see this is it so this is the pattern and if you s want to change the you know the the size you can just tab select one of them because all the parameters are ty type parameter so you can always change it, it here so for example i'll change to 30 
apply, it will change all uh, 40, something like that. And then if and and also if you wanted to change the size of these one big bricks blocks, you need to go to the pattern, go to the uh, divided surface pattern. So so for example, if I change it to 25, they, the the bricks uh, become longer, right? And also, you can also use instead of use numbers, you can use this. So, for example, this is U grid. U grid is this, and then maximum spacing. Uh, you can control the height of this brick. Uh, I think uh, maybe two hundred, and then so the height become become maximum two hundred. Okay, and then you can also do the uh, maximum spacing, maybe um, three hundred, something like that. Okay, so this is it, and also you can see um, it's not not perfect in in this drafting. Uh, I mean, for um, for if if you want, um, because <laughs> sorry, uh, see this line diagonal lines, it, um, they are there because 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 of the way we created these form, we, we use sweep. So I believe if you want, if you really don't want them, so instead of use, uh, instead of use a sweep, you can just create, you know, create another. So you can offset. So create a two, uh, two rectangular shape, and then use them to create a like more like an extrusion instead of a sweep. So you you won't have these lines okay but i'll leave it to you so um so this is it and uh, i think uh, the curtain wolf method won't be this easy it can be more complicated especially when if you need to make it parametric so okay so that's it that's all for today um if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.